breaking news. Buhari's government goes after Peter Obi, blocks bank account of support group. In what appears to be a premeditated calm down on groups supporting the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, and his running mate, Dr. Yusuf Darte, the federal government of Nigeria has blocked the Keystone Bank account of Take Back Niger, a social political movement supporting the presidential bid of the former governor. Though at the time of filing this report, no excuse has been given for the sanction, but the spokesman of Take Back Niger, Danjuma Garaba Musa, in a statement, described the action as an act of political persecution, suppression, and intimidation from the powers that be. Garaba, while noting that Peter Obi and Yusuf Dati are the most credible and competent candidates in the 2023 elections, adding that it is the constitutional right of the group to support any candidate of their choice. He, however, stated that the latest action by the government will not stop the group from supporting Peter Obi and his running mate, Dr. Yusuf Dati, in 2023 election. Part of the statement reads, TBN Global has been notified that its bank account with Kingston Bank has been on justifiable block by a government order. We see, we see this development as an act of political persecution, suppression, and intimidation from the powers that be to stop the youth driving grassroots movement from carrying out activities protected by the Constitution. TBN is a social political movement and a non governmental organization made up of well meaning patriotic Nigerians actively engage in promoting good governance and democratic ideas in Nigeria. It is our core value, support, competent and credible candidates during elections, leveraging the energy of youth who will determine electoral outcome at all levels, irrespective of the political party. Against the 2023 general elections, TBN Global Leadership had endorsed Mr. Peter Obi and his running mate, Dr. Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed of the Labour Party as the most credible and competent candidate. The TBN has publicly solicited and equally received donations for the sole purpose of funding grassroots activities to support the Obidati presidential campaign activities. We categorically state that blocking our account or any manner of repression is no waste to stop us from supporting Obidati 2023 mandate. It is our constitutional right as citizens of Nigeria to support and promote the candidates of our choice. Therefore, we appeal to the relevant authorities to reconsider these sanctions. We also urge the members of the public, especially our donors, to bear with us while we seek redress to unlock our account. Hmm. War is just wasting his time. Where is democracy? The federal government should go and learn how to run democratic government not to intimidate Nigerian citizens. This is not how to go about things. As President Muhammadu Buhari suddenly forgotten that Nigerians sent even recharge cards to support him during his campaign. Maybe he has forgotten. Why infringing on individual right to help whosoever he or she will? But wait to. What's going to make them they do all this kind of thing? To lead person and by force. If I say I don't want you, you won't force me. Things does not go that way. 
And I don't know why Nigerian leaders take this election like do or die, do, do or die are fail. If the masses said, no, we don't want you, you rest. You understand? You rest. Do you think it will all go away when you force yourself on people? This is not how to go about things. Nigerian government is becoming something else. And I don't think this will help anybody. You know, trying to do things because they feel they are, they are in power. They have the authority to do whatever they like. You see this administration eh, made them come up for office first. Now that time they will know the consequences of their actions during their office. This is just getting too much. They can't freeze their account and block his ATM card. But that won't stop the Obidati. If they like, they should block their account, block his ATM card. But that will not stop Obidati. I am an Aosa man and I, I, I became Obidati because I want good governance, not after tribalism. No, this cannot work again. This time around, seeing what Obi did during the flood era is indeed fit to become a leader. Oh, oh gracious. Hala, hear the cry of the innocent souls, maltreated by selfish leaders. Take those leaders who are bad, out of power, and make Obi the leader of this nation, Nigeria. I say hala. It's very unfortunate. Really very, very unfortunate. The fear of obedience is now the cause of intimidation and oppression. You can never stop a moving train, no matter what you do. So guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you. Thank you.